like do like do stuff together with all boys and the girls always try to do this. <sighs> the language barrier is quite high. When I first heard about the world tour, it got name dropped, what countries we were going to, and I remember Papa pulling me and Athe aside and he goes, oh, we've put South Africa on the list. And I, we were like, no way. And so we're like, okay, what part? And when he said Cape Town, honestly, I just broke down into tears. I couldn't believe that I was going back to perform for my family and for me to see my families. I remember that flight to South Africa and I couldn't sleep on that plane. I was awake the whole time just imagining how I saw them when I was six is probably so different to how I'm gonna see them now, more older, me being older. Oh, so when I arrived at the airport, I think, when I walked out, you walk through a glass window as you're on top of everyone and I looked down and I could see my Auntie, my Aunt Benita, and my ma. Yeah, we're in South Africa. Woo! Woo! Home, home soil. Woo! They're waiting downstairs. How did you see them? I just saw them through the waiting thing. My cousin oh my, and what waiting thing? Through the glass window. This oh my gosh, she went away crying. Oh, this is oh, heavy. This is my grandma. Oh, oh, my <laughs> <laughs> I was scared that I wasn't going to fit in, but it just felt natural. I felt like I was home again. I was connected with my family. So just for my family, I'm so excited and they made me cry. They're so much older than I thought they were. Thank you for seeing them, seeing my family for how many years. So uh, we're home on home soil and I'm really excited after 15 years on home. I get to see my family. This is my vlog. Kristen and myself haven't been home for a while, and I know me personally, I haven't been home for 15 years since we migrated to New Zealand. The saying holds true when you say there's definitely no place like home. When I walk in and I'm talk, my ex man and I'm stuck, I stepped up and shot. I'm rolling, 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 rolling. When I walk in and I'm talk, I'm We're going to interview in South Africa and Cape Town. Yay! I'm the tour guide for the day, and this is for me. <laughs> and I'm just taking everybody to 1FM right now to go and do the interview. <laughs> I would like to say we're in the presence of a royalty to see what it is. I know, right? Oh, guys, <laughs> wait for it. We have the best interview lined up for you right now. You're super excited. I'm super excited. So I've heard that a lot of dancers normally have embarrassing moments here or there. Can you please tell me, was there ever an embarrassing moment in your life while you're busy dancing live and something happened? Can you recall any moment like that? Um, the, the most embarrassing one I can think of is not even of one of us. It's of our friend Kirsten, who's actually, this is her hometown. She was dancing on stage with... Um, J-Lo at the VMAs and they're wearing nothing but a leotard. <laughs> 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 oh, no way! <laughs> <laughs> and it was everywhere because Everything. it was J-Lo's performance. Thank you very much for joining us. I am so excited. I've been fangirling this past week. <laughs> 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 Walking into the venue, um, there were so many people. I remember going into the workshop because I was outside on merch and even the auditorium was filled with people. And it kind of proved me wrong to go, yo, there is a lot of people that, in South Africa that, you know, dance and have the same passion. Yes, 
we yes. flew in all the way from Uganda because when we heard that Paris was going to be in Cape Town and that's the only place in the whole of Africa that she chose, we're like, no, we couldn't miss it yeah. for the world. Yep. So we got on the plane and here we are. <laughs> yeah, we love you so much. <laughs> You respect your work, oh, you inspire us. Thank you so much for us from this country. Like everyone is lining up, and today was a crazy day. We had the workshop happening, and everyone was amazing, and the energy here is unbelievable. I think for Chris and myself, we were very nervous, as you could only imagine. I was a bit scared because they've never seen me dance. They've only seen me do like Justin Bieber music video and all that stuff. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, hip hop to them is not hip hop to us. Before we got on stage, we all dedicated our performance to them and all their family. So it made us like push harder for them. We all just like put in that a little bit more of an effort. Like, usually we do 100%, but we did like 200% because we knew that Kristen and Althea's family were there. We all got in a circle and all the dancers basically said, you know, they, tonight they're doing this for us and they're dancing for us, for our families. So that was really cool. Like, it just felt like your team had your back. Kirsten was here 12 years ago. She started dancing at the age of two. Oh, we love you, Kirsten. Go, go, we love you. We have two girls in our crew who have been dancing for us for the last eight years. So we have Althea, I think her family's here. And we have Kirsten, where's her family? Are you guys looking amazing? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome the Royal Family! I'm still place. shaking, I'm still shaking. Like, I have, yeah, we're still shaking, we're still shaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a dream come true. No, yeah. we are, actually we are speechless. Yeah. It was just amazing, mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh my gosh, so we went to a safari and it was insane. I've actually dreamed of doing this ever since I was a little girl and it's something you see on movies and on TV and you just wish, I wish I could do that one day. Oh, as a kid I used to watch this program, do you remember the Wild Thornberries? So I used to watch that as a kid with my, um, like my cousins when I was little, so um, that's what the safari reminded me of. That was insane, like I would never in my years think I'll be driving around in the wild seeing lions, seeing cheetahs, seeing zebras, like it was such a cool experience. It was so cool just seeing all the different um, animals and stuff like that. 
Ja. Ja. We got to stay in a safari. That was amazing. So we literally got to like stay in these little houses and like wildlife was just over the little gate, so it was pretty cool. So it was such a cool place and the pool was mean, the buffet was mean as. I actually never thought I'd actually ever be able to do something like this, ever. So the fact that we could take a few days off and visit this amazing, beautiful safari was really a dream come true. I'm international. Three, two, one. We're like, oh, it should be cold, but not too cold. We'll handle it. Got it, got outside with our bags, and it was freezing. Oh. 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 